Greetings. My name is Dr. Waddell Brooks, Sr., your host, and this is Community Focus. We're very fortunate this morning to have with us uh, two exemplary persons. Uh, Of course, we met uh, Mrs. Tyra Thomas last week. Uh, She's the founder of the North Shore Prep, and she's the third vice president of the Lake County branch NWCP. Of course, the NWCP is an acronym for National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. (laughs) Mrs. Thomas is also the chairperson of the annual Freedom Fund Banquet, which is going to be held on November 13th. Yes. And we're going to hear more about that from Mrs. Thomas later on. But we also have another special guest with us, uh, Megan Witherspoon. Uh, She's the chairperson of a new group called the Generation X and Y of the Lake County Branch NWCP. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Good morning. As I remember remember last week, I mentioned Lake County is approximately 750,000 people. But I don't know how many up at uh, 5 o'clock this bright Sunday morning listening to the program. But I understand there's a very um, large audience, and the audience that are listening are going to get on the telephone and call their counterparts uh, to to listen to uh, this program. Um. First of all, I would like for Mrs. Thomas, for those that didn't hear the program last week, to tell our listening on just a little bit about her personal and professional background and how she got involved with the NWCP. Well, I'm an educator. Uh, as you know, I, I love education, and which is what, what expi- inspired me to want to develop the or bring to North Shore the North Shore Prep and Great Lakes College Prep Charter Schools for high school. Mm -hmm. Uh, That really embraces a lot of the foundation of what the NAACP is about. Mm -hmm. Uh, Many people think the NAACP is just if you have a legal problem, but we are very focused on education. As a matter of fact, our dinner that we're here to discuss today is to raise monies for scholarships Mm-hmm. to give to students in North Chicago, Waukegan, in Lake County, Zion, Benton, uh, wherever they may attend, as long as they're residents in Lake County. Mm-hmm. So I grew up in the NAACP. My mom's been a member for over 60 years. I, I haven't wow. been here that long, but she was a member like 15 years before I was even born. And uh, I, my whole family is indoctrinated in NAACP. So when I came here, I met you. Mm-hmm. And you were kind enough to invite me to join and attend your chapter. Mm-hmm. And after doing that and meeting Jennifer Weatherspoon, she doesn't let you in there without you having a membership. Okay. So when you walk through that door, you can just just have your checkbook because you're not leaving without being a member. Right. So that's how I uh, developed my my. Uh, and a membership is only what? what uh, see, it was thirty dollars, but that's thirty five dollars. Thirty five. Uh, Miss Geraldine, our treasurer, she's very, very, very. Geraldine Hughes. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's yeah. a student on the money. Believe me, she gets right. Yeah, it's thirty five. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I've been excited too. My wife and I both are the paid up life members uh, of the NWSP, and I too were not uh, in in the general conversation. Joining the NWSP is going to come up. Oh, absolutely. No, no, no. First, oh, I, I tell you what, I cannot go. Ahead without letting um, Megan Witherspoon have the same opportunity that you had. Megan, I'd like for you to tell our listening audience a little bit about your personal and professional background because you don't have the, the, the great back background as Tara. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Be, that. Being a youngster, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but tell us a little bit about Megan. Um, well, currently I am a grad student. I'm about a few classes away from finishing up my master's um, at North Park University. Um, mm-hmm. I also have a background in social services. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as just with the NAACP and working with civic organizations, I've always, you know, just growing up and involved like in volunteer work and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, just giving back to the community because that was something that was definitely stressed um, within my household growing up. <laughs> <laughs> no choice. <laughs> right. So, you know, it's just, it's, you know, it's just, a, it's ingrained in me, you know, mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. Uh, take part in um, organizations such as this. Um, I would say, just to tell you a little bit about uh, Generation X and Y, okay. our committee 
is primarily geared towards the 20 and 30 year olds okay. um, within the Lake County area. I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, who you are, as long as you're, you know, you're 20, 30 and 20 and 30 year old, 20 okay. and 30 year old years old. OK. Um, the purpose behind targeting this particular audience is, well, one, because I fit right in that um, that age group, demographics. I'm twi- that demographics. Excuse me. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm 28 years old, you know, okay. and one thing that I've noticed is there aren't too many people within my age bracket that have that same drive or same passion or that same commitment to give back to their community. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, you know, with the NAACP being the oldest um, civil rights organization, it's up to this generation to keep it continuing. Oh, so uh, the purpose of this committee, you know, is to make sure that, you know, we can keep this organization going. I mean, mm-hmm. it would suck mm-hmm. for the NAACP to die with Generation X and Y, with, you know, Generation X and Y not stepping up. So, yeah. And as you but, can see, this is why I would want Megan to be here, because yeah. her you can hear her passion, right? Yeah, that, that's what oh, we need. No doubt that's about what it. We need. Well, what well, Tara tell us? Uh, she's involved with Generation X and Y to keep the NWCP going. Tell us a little, little bit about the history of the NWCP. Oh, the NWCP has a rich history. It was actually started uh, in 1909, officially became a uh, organization, but it started as a result of a race riot in 1908. In Springfield, Illinois. Right in uh, our state. Right in our state. And it, so along with the race riot and the lynchings that was going on throughout the country, in the, particularly in the South, mm-hmm. there was a need for a diverse group of people to come together to to cease that type of behavior. Uh, I don't really think that uh, we NAACP could have survived or been as successful had it not been diverse. Yes. Had it just been a black organization, you know, they would have, you know, going against hanging. We had no power. We Tell had us no about power the then. organizer. Wasn't she a white female? Yes, her name was Mary White Overton. Overton. Am I saying that correct? Yes, yeah, Overton. Yes, yeah, yeah. and and she found out about it through an article that she read, I believe, in the Independent Register. Uh, yeah. Register is that yeah, it? Correct? Independent Register in, yeah. in Chicago. Mm-hmm. So yes, and and that's what I'm saying. I think uh, there were also a lot of Jewish people involved back oh. then. And had it not been for those groups of people coming together, of color, that's okay. where that color comes from in WCP, not colored people, but colored people. Okay. So that's your Jewish, your, your Anglo-Saxons, your Latinos, and that's where we are today. You don't have to be an African-American to belong to NAACP. Hopefully, everyone understands that. In fact, uh, this year we're giving out image awards, and they're giving across, we're giving them to Latino, the Latino coalition is receiving one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the Na- U.S. Navy, you know, which makes up all types of races for our government, they're mm-hmm. receiving an award. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rosalind Franklin Medical School, uh, College of Lake County. And we're doing this because we want to embrace the organizations, institutions, and individuals who have given back to Lake County of all colors. And we're trying to bring and, and our membership is open. Uh, Congressman Dole, uh, he's a Republican. So listen, you know, we're, that shows you we're mm-hmm. not partisan. Congressman Dole is going to receive an award on behalf of what he's been doing. And this is to show you, and he's Anglo-Saxon, white Anglo-Saxon. So mm-hmm. um, we want to stress NAACP is not an African-American organization. We are, we are obligated to, to issues of various colors. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can ask Jennifer Witherspoon. She gets calls constantly, oh, and yeah. they're not all from African-Americans. I think that's just a common misconception yes. when people hear the word NAACP, they think, oh, well, I can't join that or I can't be a part of that because mm-hmm. it's, mm-hmm. you know, it's designated to one specific group. It encompasses everyone, Absolutely. Um, right. Absolutely. you know, regardless of, you know, race or color, whatever you want to classify mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, you know, just to stand up against, you know, the discrimination or in the rights of all. And, and that's what they did in the 50s and the 60s, Dr. Brooks. I don't know if you were young enough or old enough to remember that, but the civil rights movement, that is exactly how we did all come together. You saw all those four years of preparation from 1909 to 1964 to going to Washington, D.C. with Dr. Martin Luther King to, to the signing of the Civil Rights Bill in 1965 by President Johnson to con- continue what we're, where we are today. We're Ladies and gentlemen, the today. exciting people that you listen to now are Mrs. Tara Thomas. Uh, uh, she's the uh, chairperson of the Lake County branch uh, in WCP. It's the National Association for the Advance of Colored People. 
Uh, the annual Freedom Fund Banquet will be held November 13 uh, uh, of this year at the Wedgwood Country Club. Um, is that right? Wasworth, Illinois? Well, uh, Wedgwood Banquet Center. It used to be the Millane? The uh, Mid Lane Country Club. Thank you. Okay, everybody knows of the Mid Lane yep, Country yeah. Club. <laughs> we can just say Mid Lane. Yeah, we'll just say that. The, same spot. Same yeah, spot. <laughs> right, right. And, and also, um, a young person, uh, Mega, Megan Witherspoon, chairperson of the Generation X and Y of the Lake Hunter branch uh, NWCP. And they're here to talk about the celebration of diversity. Um, I was looking at my records and I saw another organization in Chicago. Um, this was uh, mm, two years ago. And they just said, we're celebrating diversity. And it's, it's so important to ce- celebrate diversity because we may have come over here on different ships, mm-hmm. but we're in the same boat together now, right? Mm-hmm. And so, and uh, you were talking about all groups coming together. Isn't this way the way God wants it to be? I think so. In the United States, that's why immigration always tends to, I, I find humor in that because we're all immigrants. Mm-hmm. Um, African Americans are probably the only immigrants who did not come over here on their own. You know, it wasn't a decision that we conscientiously decide, oh, let's go. Um, today, we, we have that. There are Africans who can come over here that way. But we were probably the primary and only group that didn't arrive like that, uh, as well as the uh, Native Americans, because they were here. And again, they came on their own. We were the only ones who were forcibly uh, over here. Well, check our history books. Uh, you're a historian. I try. And our listening audience, they're sitting right by a computer at this point. They find out that the Africans were the first people on this continent. Matter of fact, they were scattered all over the world. And the Indians came here after the Africans. This is way back thousands of years ago, you know. And then we have uh, the Caucasians came. Mm -hmm. But the only problem, Caucasians came with diseases. Mm-hmm. And they gave all diseases to the uh, Indians and so forth. Through the know. blankets and things that they would spread. They deliberately did that. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So so we all uh, we all are one. Um, so let's tell us about, um, oh boy, why a banquet? Um, this particular, free, it's called the Freedom Fund Dinner. Okay. Uh, and it has been going on for years. It, this happens to be the 49th one that's ah. been in Lake County. Okay. But NWCP has for many, many years, I think in Detroit is the 88th uh, oh. banquet dinner okay. that they've had. So they've used that as a means to raising money for their scholarships, their legal fund, and other sources of funding. Because as you mentioned yesterday, so candidly, if we relied just on our membership dues, okay. it would not be enough to for us to meet all our bills and expenses. Mm-hmm. And they're not just legal, even though, I, as I mentioned before, our president, Jennifer Witherspoon, she could attest if she were here to the phone calls she receives regarding legal issues daily. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do have a phone number. They can call. We don't have a primary office like we have in Detroit. has an office, a staff. It's, you know, a whole organization. Mm-hmm. We are smaller. We're trying to build it. But the... Banquet is a means for us to raise money to pay our expenses and to and for scholarships. Yeah, I would definitely say um, uh, to piggyback off of what Tara said, the primary focus of the Freedom Fund, um, it is, you know, our largest uh, fundraising event for the year. Um, okay. That's just across the board uh, for the most part of all chapters of the NAACP. Exactly. <laughs> and one of the big things is, you know, for our scholarships. Mm-hmm. And also, too, one of the new, relatively new scholarships um, that, we have, I guess, unveiled for this year, uh, Generation X and Y, um, we have decided to create a Justice Howe Scholarship Fund. Um, Justice Howe uh, was the young man that was um, gunned down that was gunned down in Zion earlier this year. Okay. Um, his grandmother, um, Alice Howe, um, is a member. She's the uh, secretary um, for our chapter. Mm-hmm. And... Um, us with the Generation X and Y, we spoke with her and we received her blessings um, to create this scholarship fund. Okay. And so that, um, so right now we we've accumulated some money for our for that scholarship fund. And so that's something too. We're going to be unveiling that scholarship. Um, the purpose of that scholarship, it's going to go towards the students that may not necessarily have straight A's. Um, that may not be, you know, they may not have all A's or have. 
a 3.9 GPA, but this is a student that has improved their grades significantly. They have expressed um, a drive or a passion to further their education after high school because, you know, a lot of times, you know, kids whose grades may, they may have started out relatively low, Mm -hmm. but, you know, they've worked really, really hard. They may have worked really hard for that C+. You don't know where they've come from. And Mm -hmm. oftentimes they may feel discouraged. In the end, it's like, oh, I did all that. And, you know, I still don't have the funds to go to school. And Mm -hmm. so our goal is we want to recognize some children, um, you know, within the, excuse me, not children, (laughs) high school students, you know, within the area, um, that have made those improvements, you know, and let them know, okay, we do see you. Um, mm-hmm. It's not going unnoticed. And, you know, we are proud of you. So that's really the purpose of that scholarship fund. And so, like I said, this is um, something, this is a scholarship fund, you know, that was, you know, just developed this year. Um, we, we've we've accumulated some funds um, based off, of, you know, just raising money um, at um, one of our events earlier this year. Um, but we do have a goal in mind um, in regards to how much we would like to give away. Um, there is an outstanding uh, program you have. Uh, uh, could you comment on it? The uh, AXO program? Oh, the AXO program. That is headed by... Um, Desiree Cole. By Desiree Cole. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> um, Who well, doesn't know her? <laughs> and, and I haven't been able to get in touch with her. We mentioned her last week. Yes, so. okay. Miss um, um, Desiree, she's wonderful. Um, what it is is she works with high school students um, within the area. Um, AXO stands for the. Yeah, I have to think about you, it every time. You said time. it yeah, last week. Yeah. Oh, you said it last week. Okay, yeah, we so, yeah. Okay. yeah, we did. But the, he, okay, the academic the uh, technology cultural cultural no, yeah technical te- technological science. Uh, organization. All right. Um Desiree is absolutely wonderful. Um she works with um high school students, um high school students, you know, in the area and over, you know, a series of months, um they are teamed up with a mentor, you know, and they mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hone in on a specific craft or art that they want to present at uh the nationals. And so, like for example, we had one young lady a few years ago. She painted this wonderful portrait of mm-hmm. Morgan Freeman. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm still, you know, I still talk about this, you know, today, this was like maybe two years ago. Okay. Um, wonderful. Um, and so what it is, is these students, they want to try to, to me, it makes me think, almost think of like American Idol. You want to try to place and go into the next round. And so okay. Okay. over these couple of months, you know, these students, you know, they work uh, really hard with Desiree, you know, to help them per, per, um, perfect their skill and their craft. Like I know there's a spoken word piece there's a, a a dance piece. Um, I think there's like a vocals. Um, so at the end of the year, they all go off to a um, a national convention, right. you know, and try to see um, in regards to you know how they would do. Mm-hmm. And I want to say, did we have gold? I want to say we had some gold this year. We we did receive an award. How many uh, students do we have that um, are active that are active members at Axel? Is it eight? I want to say eight. As of right now, eight. I want to say we have about eight, which is which is still a really good number that allows for the for them to maintain that sense of of it becoming personal with right. working with Desiree. And then they're active. And the reason I mentioned that is because, as you know, this year our speaker is Karen uh, Jordan, yes. who is a news anchor, weekend news anchor on Channel 7, as well as a weekday reporter. And... Uh, one of our members, Cynthia Springfield, who's on the committee, uh, mm-hmm. has contacted Waukegan High School. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to get maybe four or five of those students if we can have you know, corporate sponsorship to pay their little tickets. It's a reduced ticket for the uh, students. But they have to qualify locally before they go national, right? They do. But for this dinner, we're asking uh, Waukegan as well as North Chicago. We tend to have a little more difficult getting students from North Chicago, <laughs> but Waukegan students are committed to coming to the dinner. But mm-hmm. it's certainly open to Waukegan. Uh, Zion and, and all schools in Lake County. So those students um, who are qualified, who we're asking to come for the dinner, they're not members of AXO per se. They're just there to okay. see the speaker, okay. to meet with her as a journalist, and they're journalism students. So the dinner this year is great. In fact, um, some of our honorees are. Uh, we'll get to that because I want to okay. mention who some down. I want to mention about the scholarship, and I want to make available to you. You mentioned about this difficult to get. Students from North Chicago. Very, school. it's been almost. But I have about fifty-one uh, opportunities for scholarships I want to present to you, and these are. It says here African American students are not applying. 
Exactly. 51 scholarships. So here, here is uh, you know, I will take this, but I can honestly tell you, last year we had a uh, scholarship drive through the Faith Council at Waukegan High School, and we took over uh, 100 applications to North Chicago High School. Okay. And none of them, uh, none of the students applied. So I, I want to believe that maybe they just got lost or something happened, because I got to believe there are students there who yeah, wanted right. a scholarship. So yeah. we will do this as well. Now, I know Coca-Cola, they give a phenomenal scholarship okay. every year, uh, but you usually have to apply for this by October. So okay, we'll yeah, those right are, yeah, you can check out Thank that. you so much. Okay, well, um, to have a successful banquet, there's many things has to happen. You have many committee per people, right? Yes. Do you have to have, uh, and you have to market in the organization because that's what we're doing now too. And and marketing the organization, people know selling of tickets, and uh, we gave the location already. Networking with other similar groups, though, too, to, to and, get And these. we have a committee person doing this as well as uh, Megan is one of the persons. Cynthia, I mentioned Cynthia Springfield. Yeah. She is a Delta, and she's involved in a mm. in the Deltas. Well, my and wife also, is a, 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 AKA, a.k.a. I know. I wasn't going to mention that. <laughs> so we will hold that against you. <laughs> I will hold that against <laughs> Okay, Dr. Sorry Casey. about that. <laughs> no, we have to mention the Zetas, the Sigmas, uh, okay. the Kappas, Alphas. And there's also a group uh, who I'm really excited about, the Harbor. I'm excited about all of them. Yeah. But the Harbor Links. Uh, okay. has been uh, selected to receive a service award this year. And they are very active in uh, the community, and they're, they're buying s- several tables. Uh, but we are working with the Harbor Links, with the Boule, which is a uh, brother organization to the Lynx organization. Okay. And then we have the Kappas and all the other fraternities, as well as the ministers. Because I truly believe that's our key this year. Yes. It's for the ministers of all these. There are so many churches in mm-hmm. Lake County. Mm-hmm. So if we can get them all involved. It's not like the Catholics. They have one church. Yes. You know? But they, <laughs> they, they work together. And there's one German, right? <laughs> okay, but okay, at any yeah. rate, uh, with the churches, we can get the ministers to speak to their congregation to, to tell them about the event November 13th, 2015 at 6 p.m. At the Mid Ma- Lane Country Club. Thank you. That's <laughs> thank you very much, Megan. Uh, we want them to spread the word in their churches. There are many different types of memberships to the organization. You mentioned we mentioned the lifetime uh, uh, membership, which is seven hundred and fifty dollars, may be paid in increments of yes. seventy five dollars a year. I think people get discouraged when they see that seven hundred and fifty dollar. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like you can pay it in increments. No right. one's asking you to pay it up front. You know, you could break it down or just pay the seven hundred. We try to, to make it affordable. <laughs> NWCP yeah. is a workable organization. Definitely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the NWCP National Association for the Advanced of Colored People is an organization that's probably the only one in Lake County where you have a chance to work together. Yes. As a group. All groups working together and ages. for one similar call. And ages yes. to youth, medium. And, yeah. and, 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 <laughs> because and, and, uh, Megan attends every meeting. She represents oh. them, and she's always encouraging you, young people. To In the meetings, there are local meetings that you attend, the, the state and the regional and also national uh, uh, meetings every year. And yes. it's in different cities each year, right? Yes, every year it's in different. I don't know where it was this year. I I think the well, our national organization is based out of Maryland. I mean Baltimore. Baltimore, Baltimore yeah, Maryland. out of Baltimore. Uh-huh. And if I'm not mistaken, I want to check. I think the next national convention is on the West Coast. Okay. So okay. I'm going to try and attend that. And if we have an opportunity, I want to mention our honorees this year. Yeah, well, we may our sponsors. Too. We, we 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 may do that now. We're we have a few minutes left. Okay. Uh, I'm really excited this year about our honor. We have the you know, National National Association of Colored People is known for their image awards. Okay. And they give them nationally, and there's a big television broadcast just like the uh, the, the Emmys or the Oscars. Yeah. And this year, our affair is Black Tie. Mm. I'm really excited about this. Hopefully, the AXO students will also show up in, in uh, evening gowns. We're hoping as hostess and the young men in tuxedos or dark suits. But some of the honorees we have this year I'm excited about for their service that they have contributed to Lake County are uh, Chris and Christopher and his wife, Kennedy, from the K- Ted Kennedy's family. Oh, yes. Uh, Miss Cynthia Maloney, who is the supervisor of Shields she, Township, mm-hmm. and Miss Patricia Jones, who is the supervisor Waukegan, of, ta- of Waukegan Township. And I stress her because I've gone to so many affairs where she gives out awards and, her, yes. and she sponsors, but I've never seen one give one back to her where yeah, I've attended. Exactly. So we're excited about that. Uh, Dr. Daisy Brooks is a humanitarian. Uh, Congressman Dole is receiving for his political and his active contribution to Lake County, mm-hmm. in particular our communities. 
Mm -hmm. uh, as well as Kevin Stevens on behalf of the Rotary. Uh, you know what? Don't forget uh, the Zion Township supervisor, too, to include her. She attends uh, quite a few events. Really? I'm not familiar with who she was, but I'll talk to you about that when I get off so okay. we can do okay. that. Okay. And the Navy, the U.S. Navy oh, yes. on Great Lakes, they have a very strong parents in Lake County, as well as they've been mentors. I've seen them tutoring students at schools, uh, you know, what the Admiral is doing. And, you know, they have a new Admiral, Admiral Stephen, uh, I'm sorry, Evans. Ev Stephen C. Evans. Okay. And he's been here about three months. He and his wife, Sheila. So okay. we want to welcome them and hopefully we'll be able to see them that night. Okay. Uh, Teresa McSee, who's vice president for North Chicago Community Bank. Okay. It's a Wintrust Bank. I mean, I could go on and on, but Tondra Hudson, let's not forget the Exchange Club. Okay. Uh, these are people who are going to be honored that night. So wow, it seemed like an exciting night. Yeah, and yeah. Dr. Cassandra Brooks. <clears throat> so she's the uh, educator of the year. And for those who don't know, I don't know if you re if you know, but she received a national award from the president of the United States. I think in 2012 or 13. Cassandra president Obama. Barack Obama. Yes, and oh. I apologize. Well, her mother received one too in 2010. From Bar Barack Obama. Yes. Yeah. As I told you, that family. There's something in the water that they drink. <laughs> but, uh, yes, yeah, she did. She received a national award, and we want to honor her. She is now a principal at a new school in Waukegan called okay. Learn 9, which okay. I'm sure she's doing a phenomenal job. So th we have about 15 to 18 uh, recipients this year in various categories, and I'm really excited, and I wanted to mention them. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we've <clears throat> this has been an exciting morning. <clears throat> With Mrs. Tara Thomas, the uh, chairperson of the Lake County Branch NAACP Annual Freedom Fund Banquet, which is going to be held November 13th at the Midlane, Midlane Country Club. It's now Wadsworth. Wedgwood. <laughs> yes. It changed the new name is Wedgwood Country <laughs> Club now uh, in Wadsworth, uh, Illinois. And inviting everyone to attend. It seems it's going to be Several people are going to be honored that have made contributions toward um, diversity and in their modalities. So we are, and they will be soliciting members. I'm sure that you you want to join this organization. And the minimum membership is only $35 um, a year. And if you're aggressive and want to get a life membership, of course, it's uh, $750 and may be paid in increments of $75 Per year. Oh, we didn't talk about the theme, theme for the banquet. It's accountability this year, okay. making all of us accountable. Um, I had a problem with how to work that in, but then I realized that we're all accountable, particularly when we say that black lives matter. And when you look at that black lives matter, we mean that they actually matter. Um, Megan may want to comment on accountability as well. It's just, you know, being accountable, you know, for our community, being accountable for ourselves, being accountable for one another. That's one. Of, it's just our theme for the year was accountability. And we want to try to incorporate that um, and just in all ac aspects um, of our lives and what it is that we do. Well, community focus wanted to be accountable also. And so we this is the first time that we have extended the coverage two weeks in a row. That shows Thank you the you. emphasis uh, that you. community focus it. is placing on it. And we're also excited to have a chairman of Generation X and Y to let you know that the younger generation is uh, holding up the banner for the NAACP. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Community Focus. My name is Dr. Wandel.